This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Maria Elming, Copenhagen, Denmark, November 2006. The Good News According to Matthew, from the World English Bible. Chapters 7 and 8. Don't judge so that you won't be judged. For with whatever judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with whatever measure you measure, it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but don't consider the beam that is in your own eye? Or will you tell your brother, Let me remove the speck from your eye. And behold, the beam is in your own eye. You hypocrite! First remove the beam out of your own eye, and then you can see clearly to remove the speck out of your brother's eye. Don't give that which is holy to the dogs, neither throw your pearls before the pigs, lest perhaps they trample them under their feet, and turn and tear you to pieces. Ask, and it will be given you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened for you. For every one who asks receives. He who seeks finds. To him who knocks it will be opened. Or who is there among you, who, if a son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, who will give him a servant? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you desire for men to do to you, you shall also do to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter in by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many are those who enter in by it. How narrow is the gate, and how restricted is the way that leads to life! Few are those who find it. Beware of false prophets, who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are raving wolves. By their fruits you will know them. Do you gather grapes from thorns, or figs from thistles? Even so, Every good tree produces good fruit, but the corrupt tree produces evil fruit. A good tree can't produce evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree produce good fruit. Every tree that doesn't grow good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will tell me in that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name? In your name cast out demons? And in your name do many mighty works? Then I will tell them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who work iniquity. Everyone, therefore, who hears these words of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on a rock. The rain came down, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on the house, and it didn't fall, for it was founded on the rock. Every one who hears these words of mine and doesn't do them will be like the foolish man who built his house in the sand. The rain came down, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on the house, and it fell, and great was its fall. It happened when Jesus had finished saying these things that the multitudes were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them with authority and not like the scribes. Chapter 8 When he came down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. Behold, a leper came to him and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you want to, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I want to be made clean. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Jesus said to him, See that you tell nobody, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. When he came into Capernaum, a centurion came to him, asking him, and saying, Lord, my servant lies in the house paralyzed, grievously tormented. Jesus said, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered, Lord, I am not worthy for you to come under my roof. Just say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I am also a man under authority, having under myself soldiers. I tell this one, Go and he goes, and another, come, and he comes, and tell my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled, and said to those who followed, Most certainly I tell you, I haven't found so great a faith, not even in Israel. 
I tell you that many will come from the east and the west, and will sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom will be thrown out into the outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, let it be done for you as you have believed. His servant was healed in that hour. When Jesus came into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother lying sick with a fever. He touched her hand, and the fever left her. She got up and served him. When evening came, they brought to him many possessed with demons. He cast out the spirits with a word, and healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through Isaiah the prophet, saying, He took our infirmities, and bore our diseases. Now when Jesus saw great multitudes around him, he gave the order to depart to the other side. A scribe came and said to him, Jesus, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus said to him, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another of his disciples said to him, Lord, allow me first to go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me, and leave the dead to bury their own dead. When he got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Behold, a violent storm came up on the sea, so much that the boat was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. They came to him, and woke him up, saying, Save us, Lord, we are dying. He said to them, Why are you fearful, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the wind and the sea, and there was a great calm. The men marveled, saying, What kind of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? When he came to the other side, into the country, of Gergenesis. Two people possessed by demons met him there, coming out of the tombs, exceedingly fierce, so that nobody could pass that way. Behold, they cried out, saying, What do we have to do with you, Jesus, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now there was a herd of many pigs feeding far away from them. The demons begged him, saying, If you cast us out, permit us to go away into the herd of pigs. He said to them, Go. They came out and went into the herd of pigs, and behold, the whole herd of pigs rushed down the cliff into the sea and died in the water. Those who fed them fled and went away into the city and told everything, including what had happened to those who were possessed with demons. Behold, all the city came out to meet Jesus. When they saw him, they begged that he would depart from their borders. End of chapter 8